Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Today I'll be going over how I painted my Chandler prosthetics for my book look on Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. For this look, I was hugely inspired not only by the book cover design, but also the Shamblers and how they were described in the story. So if you'd like to see how I painted these pieces, then please keep on watching! I ordered these prosthetics from an awesome Etsy shop called Obsidian FX Store, which I'll be linking down below. For this Shambler inspired look, I ordered their Zombie Jaw, Cheekbones, and Wounds prosthetic set in the lightest of the three shades that they offer. I wasn't too concerned about color matching this set, seeing as I would color them differently than my skin tone on the day that I filmed the book look. To paint these prosthetics, I'm going to be using my Mini Skin Illustrator Onset and Flesh Tone Onset Alcohol Activated Paint Palettes. I primarily wanted to save myself time in the paint chair the day I do this look, so I'm only going to be painting the inside portions of the wounds, leaving the flesh fleshy bits for later. Because I want my Shambler to look a certain way, I'm pulling up some reference art to help me paint the prosthetics. Next, I'm activating my palette with some Skin Illustrator Activator, and I'm first starting with a white shade to lay a base shade for my teeth, and I'm using my fingers and a little bit of the activator to mess up and texturize the color around with my fingers. During the era of Dread Nation, as well as being an older Shambler, I don't think I'd have the cleanest of teeth, so I'm also mixing a little bit of yellow in with my white paint and focusing that color up toward my gums where tartar and plaque would naturally build up. I'm also taking a little bit of cedar brown, diluting it with a little bit of activator, and I'm putting that right under the gums and blending it in with the yellow and using my fingers to blend and texturize everything together. Next, I'm blotchily adding more white and a teensy bit of black to the bottom parts of the teeth to make them look dirtier and more rotted away before blending everything out with my fingers again. Moving on to my gums, I'm starting with the blood tone shade in my palette as my base color, and I'm putting that all over the insides of my wounds. To really emphasize the deeper grooves and crevices of the wound, I'm using the shade Aged Blood, and I'm focusing this color more on the sunken portions and the edges of the wound. With a little bit of black, I'm slightly lining the edges of the jaw piece along with some activator on a cotton swab to help me control and blend the colors around. Again, because I'm trying to be an older, more rotted away shambler, my wounds would also be a little bit more decayed and rotted away looking. And I'm doing the same coloring process with the zombie wounds, laying down my blood tone as my base, contouring and texturing with aged blood, and lining and detailing with black and a little bit of activator. Seeing as Halloween is just around the corner, I've been filling my to-read list with as many spooky stories as possible, and I would highly recommend adding Dread Nation to anyone's TBR that's interested in reading it. Dread Nation is about a young black girl named Jane McKean and how she is trained to slay shamblers and survive during a post-apocalyptic Civil War era. This story is not only fast-paced, really engaging, terrifyingly gruesome, and filled with the undead, but I'm so grateful to Justina Ireland for the amazing job she did addressing current day issues concerning race, gender, and more through the lens of a Civil War era during a zombie apocalypse. I highly recommend it, and if you have read it or if you plan on reading it, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and geek out over the story with you all. Anyways, once the paint is all dry, these prosthetics are ready to wear, and with that, we are done! I wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to Obsidian FX Store for these amazing prosthetics and for helping me choose the perfect ones for this book look. Your store is so awesome and I look forward to purchasing more. I also wanted to give a massive thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look. If you'd like to see how I put this book look for Dread Nation by Justina Ireland together, definitely check out Epic Reads channel, which I'll be linking in the description box down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!